When it came time to leave Sydney, I had two different options. I could fly or I could take the train. Flying would be like an hour and a half. The train was like eight hours. I wanted to take the train. We're trying to get to Albury, which is in between Sydney and Melbourne. The train was a lot simpler than I thought. All I had to do was drop off my luggage and wait. I made it and I put my luggage in. It was a bit too heavy. I think I, think I kind of let it slide. But my luggage is very, very heavy. Got my little... There's two options, a morning train and a night train. I got the night train, which is probably a bad idea because I wasn't going all the way to Melbourne. And that means that I would get to my destination at 4 a.m. Seymour, Broadmeadows, and Melbourne. What was I thinking? I mean, at 4 a.m. there's no buses. The buses don't come until nine something. So I'm gonna have to wait around for like ever. So, uh, yeah. I also chose the economy option, so it was just seats for me and probably no sleep. What was the point of an overnight train? Okay, so I made it to on the train. I'm so tired. I'm gonna try to sleep the whole time. I don't know how this works. I don't know when my stop is gonna be, but uh, we'll figure it out, I guess. There's no electrical outlets anywhere, so I be careful with my battery usage. I was really hoping that no one would sit beside me so I could lay on both seats. And I was so excited when that happened. Nobody there. I wouldn't normally get a meal, but I wanted to try it out for you guys. And I was curious as to what it would be like. So I got a meal ticket and waited for it to be ready. Now also, I have no cell service anywhere in Australia. So this is just eight hours of pure waiting. Walking around on a train is really funny because it's so wobbly, you just fall into people in the aisles. But I got my food and then I took it back to my seat. The reason I wanted to try the food is because they had vegan options. They had soy nuggets and rice, so that's what I got. And we're gonna try it out and see how it tastes. not really a whole ton to report. It just tastes like a microwavable meal. So, um, uh, there you go. To be honest, I kind of regretted getting it because I didn't really need to spend the money on that. The bathroom made me laugh too because it's so wobbly. Around 10 o'clock, they turned the lights off and it was okay to sleep. I didn't sleep at all because the train kept making stops and people kept getting on and off and it was just too noisy to be able to sleep. The way that it works is that they'll come and wake you up when it's your stop, which was good to know. I waited for my stop, which finally came up, which was in Albury, at 4 a.m. It is 4 in the morning and I'm here in Albury and I'm so sad. So, always happen.
pumpkins when I go places by myself. So I have no idea where I'm at. And I'm gonna be able to get confused about it. I feel so disconnected from her. It's so cold. And I didn't bring the phone close, but we'll figure it out. I've never used a bus. Buses really scare me. Um, I'm gonna use a bus by myself. That sounds weird with all the traveling I've done. Guess what time it is? It's more waiting time. There is only one route to the destination of Yakandanda, and no Ubers, no other means to get there except for one bus. The positive thing is I was the only one in the train station at that time. No one else was dumb enough to get a train to Albury at 4 a.m., so I could stretch for pretty freely. Australia. It's fucking crazy. I'm trying to figure out how to ride the bus coach here. I don't know how to do it. This station's really pretty though. It's still like six something in the morning. After pretending to sleep, I just couldn't, so I decided to get some coffee while waiting for my bus. Hello. finally warming up outside and it's actually really nice so I'm happy about that I just burnt my tongue severely with this coffee on a good day and it's finally almost time I think for the coach bus to get here and I'm really 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 nervous I don't know how to do this because it's confusing I'm really out in the middle of nowhere going to the middle of nowhere I'm so tired. I'm so delusionally tired. So yeah, let's pray and hope that we can catch this bus because I've been waiting for four or five hours here and it's been creeping me out. There's a creepy guy in the train station who was like crying and coughing and I don't know what he was doing. I was like hiding in the corner. He was kind of crazy and I was just there kind of all by myself for a long time. So. <laughs> Adventure! One bus came, it was the wrong one, but the second one that came was the right one, and I got on it just fine, just me by myself, and I did it, it was okay, nothing went wrong. I was then on my way to the smallest little town called Yakandanda, and then from that town I was to be taken out into the middle of the forest. So I just arrived here. I had called the person that's supposed to pick me up and take me to my next destination, but they didn't answer and it says that they're not available. So I'm out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I have nobody to come pick me up. I'm gonna keep trying. Um, but I got here, I got to this place. Yaka blah 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 blah. It's a beautiful day. Fortunately, I was right beside the information center, so they took me in and called the wildlife reserve for me. Oh, so yeah, I'm staying in a small place. Um, you're basically going to be camped up in the bush under a tree. Um, I do a lot of vlogging. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. I look like I feel. <laughs> okay, so I finally got picked up. Now we're heading to the special, special place. And I'll tell you 